Hi, this is Mr. V, and in this video we are going to look at how to multiply two integers. Now you remember that uh, integers are any number, any whole number, that can be either positive or negative. And so we need to be able to deal when we have mixed signs in our questions. So when we're looking at a multiplication problem like the ones shown here, we are going to look at what sign each of the numbers are. So in this first one, I've got 4 and I've got negative 3. Now remember that if there's no sign in front, we assume that they are positive. So we've got positive 4 and negative 3. So positive and negative, those two signs are opposite. Our rules tell us that if the signs are different, if they're opposite to each other, then the answer is going to be negative. So in this case, our answer is going to be a negative number. Which number? Well, we can multiply our 4 and our 3 to figure that out. 4 times 3? That's right, it's 12. So 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And that makes sense. If we, ha if we are $3 in debt, and we do that four times, we're going to be $12 in debt. It makes sense. In this problem, we have negative 2 times negative 7. We can see easily that both the 2 and the 7 are negative numbers. Our rules tell us that if the signs are the same, in this case, they're both negative, the answer is going to be positive. So this answer is going to be a positive number. Even though both of the numbers are negative, the answer is positive. 2 times 7 is 14. Again, does that make sense? Well, if we have two lots of $7 debts, and we are getting rid of those two lots of $7 debts, well, we're going to end up being $14 better off than we started. So the positive does makes sense. In this problem here, we have 7 and we have 8. We're not told their signs, so we're going to assume they're both positive. So positive 7 and positive 8. Their signs are the same, so the answer is going to be positive. So we're going to have positive 7 times 8 is 56. And let's look at our last one. We have negative 6 times 9. That 9, yes, it's going to be positive. Minus and positive, they're different. So our answer is going to be negative. Negative 6 times 9 is 54. So negative 6 times 9 is negative 54. And that is how we multiply positive and negative numbers.